As a family we have always been fond of picnics, taking every opportunity to get into open country whenever the weather is fine. I have been on many such excursions with my daughter, Eveline, and her husband Bill, and on two of these there occurred unexpected psychic phenomena which are certainly worthy of record. We had driven to an unspoiled beauty spot, enclosed on two sides by fine forest trees. Lunch was over and we were basking in the hot sunshine. Bill, always of an inquiring mind, was quizzing me about Red Cloud and the demonstrations of psychic power he had so often given. Will he come to you wherever you are? He asked. I believe so. He has never failed me yet. But out here, amid the trees and sunshine, would he come here? I don't see why not. Try, Bill urged. I'll ask him first, I said. I did so and Red Cloud willingly agreed to control me. From what Bill and Evelyn told me afterwards, I gather that Red Cloud took the opportunity to deliver a little lecture on metaphysics to which the two listen with attention, if not always with comprehension. Does that mean, Bill interrupted at one juncture, that you can control the elements, the wind, the rain, and what have you? Watch, said Red Cloud, and I will show you. Turn your eyes to the line of trees that stand behind you. See how still and unmoving they are. No wind disturbs their branches, no breeze rustles their leaves. But if the medium points her hand to the left, see what happens. The wind bends the treetops to the left. If she point to the right, they bend to the right. Does that answer your question, my son? It certainly did. As a practical demonstration, it left the pair breathless and they could hardly wait to tell me about it. I came out of trance to hear them both talking at once. You pointed to the left and all the trees bowed to the left, they said. Then you pointed to the right and they bowed to the right. It was incredible. I have no difficulty in believing it, I told them sincerely. And, indeed, I had not.